Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me today. My name is Lily and I appreciate you being here with me. Today I am going to continue with the collage. Um, last I worked on this collage piece and it was it was collaged on food packaging. And so I will, if you haven't seen that video, I will link it down below, but also at the end of the video, you'll have a link there so you can see how it is that I created this collage work right here using food packaging. And the majority of these papers are from my scraps. Okay. And I couldn't do it all in the one video. So this is almost, I guess, like part two, like a continuation. And I have finished collaging, and now I am going to cut these down so that I can make some tags. And that was the whole purpose of collaging onto this type of paper, so that I can make tags very similar to these. And these I made in the same manner. I actually used a cereal box for these. And after I was done collaging, I cut them down to size. This is uh, my preferred size. However, I am going to make these just a little bit longer to fit into some pockets that I made. And I have mentioned before that I don't like working with extremely large tags. This is my favorite size. So we're just going to make them a little bit bigger, but not excessively big. Okay. And so we'll get started with that in just a moment. But I just wanted to show you these just from upcycling cereal box and a bunch of little scraps. Okay, so I will set these aside. I'll also show you how you can create a tab if you don't have a punch or if you don't have any die cuts. So I'll be making some of these tabs as well for a couple of these tags. So, uh, well, I may get to do a couple, but at least one I will try to finish here, okay? Now, I have some other packaging I wanna show you really quick that I collected today. And I also plan on um, collaging, collaging this as well, and then collaging this as well. This is food packaging, and this is just from, from this little drink right here. And so I will collage, I'll actually collage on this side and then leave this for journaling or I'm not sure, but this is what I use when I'm making the tags. And here is another food packaging container. I think this right here is the perfect weight for the tags I make for the junk journals. And this is also food packaging just from some cookies. And so I save the packaging because I need to make some tags. I realized I didn't have I didn't have a lot of tags to put into the journals. And so I thought I'd make a bunch and so that I can move on with finishing up some journals that I started working on. Okay. All right. So the size I'm going to work, I'm going to cut these down to a size that will fit into these envelopes right here. And I've kind of already measured them. So I want them about six and a half inches um, long and about, I think it's three inches wide. About three or three and a half inches wide. And so I'm going to make a couple that are about this size for these, for these envelopes, uh, pocket, uh, excuse me, <laughs> pockets that I made out of junk mail envelopes. And I also did a process video for this. And so I'll link it below as well and also at the end if you want to take a look at how I created these. Okay, so let me set these aside and let's start cutting these down to size. So I'm going to grab my cutter. Okay, and I said I was going to trim to about three and a half. The envelopes... These are, are a couple, these are about the same size. This one, it's a little bit narrower, so maybe I'll cut this one to, yeah, about three, three and a quarter. Okay, so I know that I'm working with at least three and a half first. So let me cut that down to three and a half. Okay, 
get myself all twisted here. Okay. So I'm just hoping um, that this cuts through with this blade. I haven't replaced it. It's worked fine. So let's hope that it stays that way. <laughs> so I'm going to also fix this edge right here. Nice. Yes. So I'm going to even out this edge right here. Trim that off. Isn't that crazy? A good crazy. How you can collage and then once you trim it down, it takes on a whole different look. And wait until we get closer to um, it looking like an actual tag. So I'm going to trim the top off. So this one I said I was going to make about six and a half inches long. Let me make sure I have that. I have that right. Yeah, I'm going to make it six and a half inches long because I'm going to create a tab to make it easy to pull out from this pocket. So six and a half inches. What side do I want to cut? Six and a half. Let's do this right here. Six and a half. I'm going to trim this a little bit too on this side. So I'm going to go a little bit over six and a half. Actually, I didn't want to trim that side. <laughs> That's going to be the challenge. What am I willing to sacrifice? That's the tough part. Okay. So if it doesn't cut completely, it's because I have already... Oh, just so I didn't mention, but I've already added coffee dyed paper to the back of the of the collage board. I don't know what else to call it. Collage board. OK, so I'm going to trim just to even out that top a little bit. Nice. And now let's see, do I want to cut these down like this? I don't know, I think I'm just gonna round the edges there. And I don't have a corner rounder, so I'm just gonna do the best I can with my scissors. That looks good. Yeah, not bad. Okay, so let's, uh, let's cut another one down to size. So I'll cut two and then we'll work on embellishing these. Okay, so I said the other one was going to be, so I have, that's for this one. And I have a lot more envelopes, a lot more of these pocket, pocket envelopes that I made, but we're gonna work on two right now. So this one, I'm gonna do six inches and no more than three and a half. So let's do three and a half. may need to replace the blade. It's cutting through the board, but it didn't go through the coffee dyed paper. So I'll just help it along. Oh. There it is. Okay, set that aside. So I'm going to trim this edge over here. Just to even it out. This cutter has been, I have put it through a lot of use and that blade has stayed strong. Okay, and six inches, six inches in length. So what side am I willing to sacrifice? Oh my gosh. I know it's tough. Oh, but believe me, these little things right here, they're not going to waste. We will keep them and 
reuse them somehow. But isn't that cute? Yeah, so those will be used. And then do I need, yep, I'm going to trim the top just a little bit. And there is another one ready to embellish. Okay, set that aside. And I've already cut out some little words and some words and some phrases that I will possibly use. And so I've just cut them. I already had those cut just to save some time. Oh, let's round out this corner right here. Doing the best I can. Oh, it looks good. Okay. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ink the edges. I'm going to use Vintage Photo. I like this method better. <laughs> it is much easier than holding it up. Okay, well, that looks great. Do this one. And then I'll turn it over and do the do a little bit on the on the other side as well. So this is a really, this is a great way to repurpose um, cereal boxes or food packaging. And it's great material for making tags. See? Let's do the other side really quick. I think I need to replace the little sponge. Whoa. That is coming apart. If it lifts a little bit, I will go back and I'll go back and glue it down. That's bound to happen since all of the pieces are glued together and so when you cut they may lift. Then you just add a little bit of glue. And that is done there. The new journals that I'm working on, I haven't talked much about those. Um, I'm undecided if I want to do a theme, give them each a theme, or just let it flow naturally. Um, just whatever, whatever looks good to me, whatever I'm drawn to. And so I'm basically just starting and then I'll just be putting the pieces together. That's usually how I do it. And then sometimes they just naturally fall into some type of theme, okay. So these, these are ready for the next step. And so now what I want to do is I have these here. I have these here for inspiration. And so I'm either going to add a bird, maybe a flower. Bird or flower. Bird or flower or butterfly. Let's take a look. I've got this. with my little bits and pieces, some digital, some that I've made. These are stickers, stickers that don't really stick. <laughs> here are the birds, and here are some of the flowers I've already cut. So I love these roses, love, love, love. So let me do this. Oh, 
Oh, this is nice. Look at that. Okay. There's one. So we'll do that one. Oh, that's pretty too. I know I'm going to have to, it's going to block, cover some of the, some of the images underneath, but I have to be okay with that. We have to be okay with that. These are so nice. I want something long and I don't have a large selection. Um, I've only just recently started purchasing digitals. So mm, 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 mm. maybe I'll give this one a bird. So we'll do that flower. And then all this below where, where it is that I've obtained some of these digitals. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head, um, but I'll make sure I mention them in the um, description below and I'll tag their Etsy shop. So if you're interested, you can go over and take a look at all of the wonderful digitals that some of these creators have. Oh, that's nice. How about one that I've already kind of cut so I don't have to spend too much time cutting. This one's nice. So hard, so tough. That one, yeah. Oh my goodness, I don't know. Let's set that one aside for a minute because I honestly don't know what to put on it, but I do want to add something there. Maybe I need to cut more flowers. Oh, that one's nice. Okay, here we go. I found one. Okay. So the hardest part was done. Was already done, which was collaging um, everything down. It really wasn't hard, but... <laughs> but... Um, I shouldn't say that was... Um, that was the hardest part. Actually selecting um, the focal point is a tough part. Okay, so now I'm just going to glue those down. Like I like, like I've been saying lately, just grab and glue. Just grab and glue. Woo! Oh my goodness, it got stuck. No! Okay. I feel bummed that I'm covering up that nice little bird there. But I also like the layered look. And I think that's what's fun about, about the collage, where it all of the little bits and pieces add great dimension to the project. Okay, so I think now I need to add my word. So I have both, I have words in English and in Spanish. And these are just words that I've created. Let's do this one. This one reads, God is listening. I always, I, I say that to my daughters as often as I can. Okay. That's nice. Oops, I need to I need to tear this out because it's it's gotten really sticky. So let's fold that in half like Gail does and set it aside for another project. Okay. Woo! Slow down, Lillian. Slow down. 
Okay, I want to maybe here. Yeah. That's really nice. I like that there. Let's do another one. Let's do one in Spanish. This one, this one reads, La vida es magia, which means, or which translates to, life is magic, or life is magical. Okay. Yeah, I really need to switch that out. Or I should just use the other one that I have and use this one when I'm like really distressing those edges because that's how it tears up from the edges, the edges of heavier papers or board. Okay, there's this one. Oh, I really like that. Okay, so let's set these aside for a moment and let me show you. Okay, so I need to make some tabs. So I have this index card and so I'm just going to use it as a template, as a template for making a tab. And so this is what I've been doing. Just to make me a little tab. And this is also food packaging. And it's not too heavy, works perfect. I don't do much measuring. I just kind of I just kind of eye it and just go slow. Ta-da! Let's do this one. Okay, I'm going to round this one out a little bit. All right. So now I'm going to see that's why this shreds because this is a little heavier. And so it just shreds a little sponge on my little tool here. It's a darker, a darker uh, material, but you could still see the distress come through. So there you go. We have to improvise. If we don't have the right tools, we can always improvise and still make things that look absolutely wonderful, okay? So then the next thing I did, what is the next thing I did? Oh, okay, I actually took a little word so now let's take a little word from here. And these are little words from Calico Collage. Okay. Let's use this one. I should have also had these ready. So you're not watching me cut. Okay. All right, ink it up just a little bit. Sometimes I ink everything and then other times I ink nothing. <laughs> Depends on the mood I'm in. Okay. So those are ready to go like that. So, so I will do this. Do I want to give that another little layer? Yep. Mm, no, actually, I'm going to use a scrap piece of paper, something lighter to go under it. Oops, almost knocked that down. 
Whoa. Let's see. Just a little scrap. Just to give it a little dimension underneath. Yep. That'll work. That's what I want. And now, so I will place it over. And I am going to staple it. How's that? I like it. So I have to, let's see, I need something. I need to push these down. What did I use? I used something the other day. Oh, to, um, I took these from my dad's toolbox. I'm telling you, I don't think he's realized how many of his tools I have taken for crafting. <laughs> but I make sure that he has extras. I don't leave him without tools he still likes to play in the garage likes to work on his cars and so that stapler I found in the junk drawer and it doesn't work very well but so I have to give it a little help with these okay so there's that let's do the other one okay same thing here Want you do that? If it if this were not going in a pocket, I would probably um make it more frilly by adding a little bit of lace. But this is exactly what I want to do. So in this one here, you could see I added a little bit of lace trim right there, but it's not going in a pocket. And so it's going, um, well, a, it's not going in a pocket with a flap. It's going in just a, just a regular pocket. So, but because these are going in a pocket, I didn't put any of the any of the uh, lace trim on there. But what do you think? Look at that. Isn't that great? Let's see if they fit. <laughs> Let's put them to the test. Which is which goes where? Okay. Is that one going there? Oh, did I make it too big? <laughs> That's okay. I've got plenty more. So there is one. Look at that. Isn't that great? Oh my gosh. And so here's this one. Did I make it for this one? I think so. There it is. Oh, wow. I love how these turned out. I will link the video as to how I made these um, pocket envelopes from the junk mail envelopes. And then I'll also um, link the first video as to how I started the process for collaging the cereal board or the food packaging. Okay, so you could see that. So I've got plenty more tags to make with this. I wish I had more time to spend with you so we can work on a lot more tags. Um, I've got a few more minutes, but then like I've said before, um, I can do 33 minutes before my camera just cuts me off. I need to figure that out. Okay, but tell me what you think. These are going to look absolutely great. I love the window from the junk mail envelopes because I knew this was going to look fantastic in there. So just wonderful. And so, yes, I love these. Love how they've turned out. Great for journaling. Nice little pocket in there. And I knew that that tab was going to help make it easier to take this out. So, yes, perfect, perfect. Yeah, that is gonna be great. And then wrap that around. And that's what it's going to do. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this process. And uh, I hope this has inspired you to create. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you being here. I wish you peace and harmony and a wonderful day. Thank you so much. Take care. And I will talk to you next time.